from the middle of Australia, the very centre of Australia. It's called uh, Alice Springs. It's where the dingo ate the baby. Are you with me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I moved there years ago. I, I, I wasn't born there, but I moved there because I got married. Um, and you have to marry something, haven't you? Um, but uh, no, he's lovely. But when I uh, look, I'll tell you. So I moved there. I had five kids, not straight all in the same day. Like I got knocked up repeatedly, and um, <laughs> and then I became a stand-up comedian. And then this is all true. And then I turned into a raging alcoholic, um, and that had to stop. And it did stop. And this is my first time I've been to Montreal sober. Yes. Give me, thank you. Thank you. So when I first moved to Alice Springs, this iconic man, his name's Ted Egan, he's a writer and he makes films and he's a poet and, he, you know, he's an elder of the town. He said to me, do you know, Fiona, if you live in Alice Springs long enough, you don't need to travel the world. Eventually the world will come to you, right? And he was really old and I was really young, so I was like, boring. Anyway, I <laughs> had no idea how true this was going to become. I met the Queen, like, of England. Not somewhere weak, like Denmark, like our queen, Canada, right? And um, it was just so exciting. They found 50 of the flashest people they could in Alice Springs to hang out with Her Majesty when she came to Alice Springs uh, for three hours. And it wasn't a sit-down dinner or luncheon. We were all just mingling, free to mingle with the queen. And it was extraordinary. It was an extraordinary day for Alice Springs. And nonetheless, we... The Queen's arrived, one of the, uh, this weird kid just goes right up the front, uh, yeah, my second oldest, right, and she did the biggest curtsy you've ever seen. She said, welcome your majesty to the kingdom of Alice Springs. <laughs> <laughs> she reads far too much Roald Dahl. Anyway, next thing, the important people went in, and in came Her Majesty, and the time, I swear to God, it went like that. All, so all of a sudden, three hours were up, uh, because there was a free bar, and I was still <laughs> drinking quite heavily, right? And all of a sudden, the Queen's leaving. There's only two people in the room who have not met the Queen, myself and my husband. And I didn't really give a shit, I'm Irish, I'm thinking, oh, I didn't even think we're supposed to have cups of tea with him, actually. And anyway, I could see my husband, though, across the room, where the Queen was leaving, she was about to exit, and I could see the look on his face, you know, and it was like a little boy. It's like, oh my God, I'll never get this chance again. And I had Googled, you know, protocol about meeting the Queen. He hadn't, right? And I'm like, oh, trouble up ahead, but I've got to get all the way from here to there to God knows what I was going to help. I was drunk, right? So it was like wading through a sea of molasses in a suit of armour, but I'm coming, right? And the Queen's leaving, and he just desperately... She's about to exit, and he just desperately turned around and completely blocked her passage. <laughs> and I just realised I could have put that a little more delicately, but he... You know what I mean? He, he just stuck his hand out, and he said, G'day. I'm Chris. <laughs> like, you do not offer your hand to the Queen unless she offers it to you first. Uh, to her credit, she shook his hand in return, but she did shake it a lot like it was a filthy turd, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, help, help's nearly arrived, right? I'm two steps away, and I'm horrified by this, by what I've seen, and I'm freaked out and drunk, so I've just turned to this guy on my left, who I didn't know, and I asked a question, but possibly a bit too loudly, right? I just turned to this guy, and I've gone, did he just up? <laughs> <laughs> and I kid you not, the Duke of Edinburgh... <laughs> leant down and whispered in my ear, not as much as you just did, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Good night.